I've grown up that way, and it doesn't mean that I can't be proud. So, you want to be an Aboriginal? Hmm. Oh, really now? Let's see what, what it takes to be an Aboriginal. Oh, shit. All right. These are uh, the ones from the, uh, the Sinhalese Island, right off the coast of India. These playboys ain't fucking with you. You get your ass up in there, you're going to, yeah, you're going to bleed. And they're going to make damn sure. See them back there in the background? There they are. In fact, let's talk a little bit about this other cat. This white cat want to go over there messing with these people, want to bring they Jesus to them. Yeah, I said they Jesus because I don't believe in that Jesus thing. Yes, I am a Hebrew Israelite. I am indeed. But as far as this Jesus thing, mm -mm. this is the same shit they did to the whole world. They come over here with the Jesus thing and then they kill your ass. Whether our ancestors were Mongolies, Native American or dark, melanated Native American. They did the same shit to, to the whole world. Now, uh, back to what I was saying. How can you make a distinction on who's Aboriginal? Notice something about the Aboriginals. All of them. Okay, let me see it again. All of them are from light brown to dark brown. All of them are melanated. Every single one of them. Uh, it so, seems like... Everybody wants to be an Aboriginal, no matter where the hell they go. But I'm a little tired right now. I've been on the internet for the last couple days trying to find white or so-called white Aboriginal. Now, what I am finding is a lot of white people, so-called white people, saying that they are Aboriginal to places outside of Europe, which is awfully strange when we got a huge group of folks right here in the good old US of A that are Aboriginal and don't even know it. They do not know it. They got mixed in with some other folks who may or may not have come on ships uh, from Africa, but I am sure of the ones that came on ships from the West Indies because I got a history book that shows a lot of them came from the West Indies into South Carolina. Anyway, uh, yeah, they're still uh, Aboriginal to the Americas prior to colonialization. Many of us don't know, but let's let's go ahead and, and, and see this this young lady here again, and, and, and let's watch what happened here. Who I am? Just because I don't have skin color makes me no different to any of you that have color. My family is my family. Alright, uh, I, I was out trying to find some some so-called white aboriginals and the only ones I can find <laughs> are the ones that are claiming to be what they apparently are not. I mean, you can look in their faces. It's written up. What you are, a lot of times, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, if you're a European, it's written right on your face. Let's see what else we got here. Let's look at some aboriginals from Australia. Now, this is one thing that I've noticed that uh, most of all the aboriginals have in common. Uh, let's go with most of them have darker skin or they are melanated most of them not all most of them have woolly hair or either some have the like the australian is a mix between the woolly and the straight hair some are straight some are um, kind of woolly some are um really woolly yes you got you got all all different flavors down there in australia but there's one other thing that's also that that, that appears that the uh aboriginals seem to have that connects them to each other and that's being controlled by the colonizers look at those chains on, on those folks look at that look at that that looks familiar it looks so familiar like it looked like uh, what they did and to the these folks, folks that was went. found here when the colonizers came and then they tried to uh, i guess they must have brought some africans over and they tried to make them all african now don't get me wrong 
uh, the folks from Africa were not stupid people. Of course, they can get they can get from the from the uh, west coast of Africa to Brazil and to the West Indies. So they was mixing and trade way before the colonizers came here. But what they wanted to do is take all the land from them and say, "Oh, all of y'all African." But now the Mongolese, they couldn't really do that with because of the Mongolese. When I say the Mongolese, don't take it wrong. I have to call them something because of uh, if I say Aboriginal, and then you kind of get confused because there was some so-called black and some so-called Native American-looking ones. But the Native American ones do look Mongoloid, and I've seen on another website where they were called Mongoloid Indigenous. All right, let's get on. Let's let's keep it moving here. How the hell is it that the Europeans can go around the world now claiming to be Aboriginal? The Europeans has been everywhere and stake a claim and became what they stake the claim on. Australia is a prime example, and, and there's a few others. Uh, look, oh, we gotta mention Israel. Gotta mention that one. Now, how in the hell is it that a European? can go somewhere, sit his ass out on the beach, and get skin cancer from hell, and say, I'm from here. Let that sink in a little bit. Don't make no goddamn sense to me either. All right, moving right along. Now, these Sinhalese, they don't be bullshit. Yeah, you, you can throw your coconuts. We'll get your goddamn coconuts. But you bring your ass on our beach, we're going to tear your ass out the frame. And that's what they did to this, uh, this American guy. He, he was a, a, a damn thrill seeker uh, out there t- uh, trying to bl- trying to say that he was uh, bringing Jesus to the to, to the folks. He was using that, he, and just like all of them did, with the, coming here with the Bible in one hand and uh, that little cross. What is that cross? That cross was that damn sword. Take a look at all of them swords from uh, from when those folks came back it came here. Look at the top of that sword. You got the uh, the part where you handle. Uh, do you hold it? The handle. Then you got right between there. You got a little, a little like a little cross there, and then you got the blade. That's your cross. They coming out there cutting your ass up. And everybody believing in that cross. Poor little dumb motherfuckers. Anyway, more Aborigines right here. Oh, these are the pygmies. And look at the pygmies. You already know what the pygmies look like. Even before I pull it up, look at these folks. straight up melanated but but now the the, the question that 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 rings forward after looking at all this stuff and trying to find the melanated people of the world where in the hell the white people come from but anyway moving right along let's go to the chinese of aborigines yes there were chinese aborigines yes there were watch this these are chinese these are all chinese the ones that they hide they don't let they don't show you these Yes, Chinese. Every one of them. M2. Yep, yep, M2. Mm-hmm, M2. Yes, Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Chinese. Mm-hmm. Let's go in there. Let that roll a little bit. Chinese. Chinese. All Chinese. Let's kill that that music right there. Yeah. Chinese. I guess you get to get the picture. Now, what they try to do is show you these Chinese. This is what they try to do all over the world to include India, like on one of my other videos. Uh no, I'm not even gonna go and try to pull that up and show you the, the Indians, but everybody looked like those Sinhalese. uh Sinhalese. The ones that attacked that goddamn uh, that American uh, Christian guy who went on that beach over there fucking with those people trying to give them diseases and shit. Anyway, look at the the, the skin color. Look at them. That's not paint. That's the real deal. That's the real deal. Look at this stuff. But where did these people come from? Where did these people come from? All of a sudden, everything is becoming what used to be. This is what everything is now. Something's wrong. Something's really, really, really wrong. And boy, they hiding the hell out of it. Now, this is an, uh, another set of people that are really catching hell. And uh, this here really, really shows you that the people in um, that Columbus saw look 
like these damn people here because these people are right there in India today. Right there in India today. And the Indians are, uh, 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 well, the light colored Indians are trying to kick them out now. These are called the, the Jarawa. The Jarawa in the, uh, yep, the uh, Andaman Islands. No, yeah, it's clear the Andaman Islands, but this is real close to the area where those, uh, the, where those Sindalese are. But these guys, they're a little bit more accepting. And they're going to get their ass waxed. They're already done. I think it's only like 500 of them left now. And what the Indians are, the people from India, the new Indians, rather, they are making human safaris. They got all of these buses going out there, driving around so they can see them. And some of them getting killed now. Some of them be kicking some ass. Now, look at this Indian guy right here. They don't show you this kind of Indian guy too much. This is, I was shocked that they, sh they put him on TV. I mean, uh, put him up to talk. He one of the taxi drivers. But see, he ain't too. You can tell he he, he been uh, whited out from the, from these other folks who are, who are there. Those are the original ones there. Those are the original ones. Let's go back a little bit. You can see he was whited out a little bit. See, and he don't even know it. He has no clue. Not at all. All right, let's move it on to the next one. Let's keep it moving, now, Mister. All right, this is something that pisses me off. I be watching a lot of this here, doing this video. It really pisses me off to watch how the European go from place to place to place to try to find the people so they can make first contact. And what do they do? They kill them. And if they don't kill them, they, they bring them back in, in, into, into their fold and they make them poor shit. These people, now these are your kings and queens. Somebody wanted to uh, tell me about that king. We don't race his ass. Yes, these are kings and queens. Maybe not the ones that you uh, think are sitting up on the throne. But they had their freedom. Yes, they had kings and queens in these in their tribes. Don't uh, uh, being a king and a queen don't mean you go to Britain and sit up on a goddamn throne. Your freedom is worth a hell of a lot more than a fucking throne. When somebody say they were uh, they, they they came from kings and queens, they're really not always just just talking shit. Some of them know who they are. Let's keep it moving. Um, let me let me let this play a little bit. Let's see what we got here. New Guinea. Look at this. No, no, no. Uh, again, the face, the skin color, his skin. He can't handle uh, the stuff that they can handle. Her skin. And what is he doing? Already, look at him. Looking straight down at her. Want to get sex with her. Want to go ahead and, and lighten up. Man, it's so fucked up what happened. But although it did happen, they still cannot. They can't do it. They cannot mate with somebody and create themselves. They can't. If they lighten them up, the bone structure is still the original. I don't know if you ever paid attention to that. Uh, again, I have to tell you, I'm one of those. I'm mixed. But my bone structure stayed the same. My kid's bone structure stayed the same. The same as my so-called African-American grandfather. Stayed the same. No matter how light uh, we got. Some, there's some light was in the family. But uh, the bone structure stayed the same. Shot. Let's, keep, let's continue on. You know what this guy's all about? They're all about raping us. All about raping us, trying to white us out. Let's go to the next one. I think I'm good. Okay, now let's go to uh, uh, some over in, in Brazil in the, in the rainforest. Again, look at the skin color. Like I said, from light brown to dark brown. This woman wanted to kill him. She really wanted to kill him because she said, uh, you don't belong here. You don't belong here. She wanted to kill him. She wanted to kill him on the spot. They wouldn't let her do it. Now look at this. Thing. That one was smart. They were smart right then. But now, if you go back, you go back to these people, they're all fucked up right now. I, I know they're fucked up right now. Look at this here. Why do, why do they fuck, why do they do that? Oh, look, we're God. Let's show you this here. Look what we can do. Ain't that cool? Look what we... Man, these people are so much healthier and happy without this bullshit. 
now we're finding out with all of this global warming and all of this here world pollution uh you're finding out that rather than them doing like you you need to start doing like them because if you let me bring your face back in here when i when i say this we got to get you back in there you have fucked up this world yeah, some some people, uh, some European who's watching this are gonna say, "Oh, this guy's so racist." No, no, I'm telling the truth, and you know damn well I'm telling the truth. This these people did not fuck up the world. These people did totally fucked this place up, and they're getting it worse and worse. These people, look at this here. These people know how to live on the land rather than taking all of this bullshit that they've been giving us, all of this non food. Speaking of non food shit, what's the last thing you can find in a damn grocery store? Food. You cannot find food in the grocery store. When you first walk into most of your, your grocery stores, that's where you're going to see all of your food. It's going to be off on the right hand side or the left hand side. It's all of the produce. But when you go after you leave that point, it's all that shit that they've made, all this processed shit that we've put in our bodies. Now we're learning about it, but. They don't want us to. They don't want us to let her to let it go.